Welcome to the Crane Learning Library. Today we are focusing on Venmax Alerts. Alerts monitor equipment health, and putting alerts to work will significantly improve equipment uptime. This video will explain the initial procedures for setting up Venmax Alerts at your workplace. Setup includes alerts licensing. Alerts are included in the service call module and can be initiated with an email to our support team. If you have questions about Venmax module licensing, please contact Cliff Fisher. Once the support team has licensed alerts for use, initial Venmax setup will be a five-step process. One, review alert parameters. Two, create alert profiles. Three, assign profiles to equipment types. Four, individualize alerts for customer, location, or point of sale, and five, begin using the Alerts tab to dispatch calls. Let's begin by reviewing alert parameters. Alert parameters can be found under Master Files and the Supported Alerts tab. What you see are all of the alerts available to you as an operator. Initially, using some alerts is best practice. We don't want to overwhelm the service department with uh, too many service calls that they have to chase down at once. And we want to also make sure everyone becomes comfortable and um, accepting of the, inf of the alert information. So I do recommend that we, you choose a few to start. There are several kinds of alerts. Uh, we've got cashless alerts, door open alerts, uh, bill alerts, coin alerts, and even sell out and temperature alerts. So uh, perhaps you will start with some bo a coin and bill alerts and maybe some cashless alerts and a, and a temperature alert. Down the line you could add in sell outs, sales spikes, uh, reporting issues, that sort of thing. Work with what's comfortable for your organization, but I, again, recommend increasing alerts over time. Start with what you can manage. Each alert runs on parameters. Uh, so, for example, in the MDB alert for bill validators, uh, if Venmax considers a machine to have uh, lost a certain amount of sales in a certain amount of time, then it will trigger an alert, uh, not accepting bills. Uh, the DEX alert for bill validators would be if 10 VENs did not use the validator, then it would trigger uh, as an alert. You can set these different parameters just by editing them in the fields. Setting these parameters, and you can double click to bring up the detail or make it go away, double click brings up the detail, double click, makes it go away. I recommend that you walk through these parameters and see which ones matter the most to you and if the settings are reasonable. Uh, most operators find that going with the default settings work well at the beginning, but take for example uh, the um, machine not vending alert. So in this case, uh, an alert will trigger if there have been no vends in three days. We may find that three days is not acceptable uh, for this particular account for a certain reason, or it's uh, not open enough, not long enough of a time period for some other accounts. And we will have the ability to set our alerts customer by customer, location by location, point of sale by point of sale. These settings are just for general use, and that's why most operators just start by using what has already been recommended by Venmax. Once you have looked through uh, the supported alerts and decided which ones you like and which parameters matter to you, then we will move on to Master Files and alert profiles. This is where we will create our alert profiles. A profile is a grouping of alerts. Again, 
you will be able to make exceptions to your rules at customer or point of sale level. But to begin with, uh, let's say we make an alert profile for stacker beverage alerts. Okay. Over here on the right hand side, we see all the alerts that are available to us. And let's just say for stacker beverages, we want uh, MDB alerts for bill and coin. Um, it's been my experience that most operators rely on MDB bill and coin alerts, perhaps more so than DEX coin and bill alerts. There are plenty of other DEX alerts that uh, people use frequently, but in specifically for coins and validators, people have found the, the best help has come from MDB. So we will choose those. And let's say we also decided to choose a, a temperature reading so that we can know if uh, the machine's gone warm and we might need to send someone out to unfreeze a compressor or something like that. And, and let's also say that we want to look at uh, uh, if the machine was not vending for a certain number of days. So these alerts would become part of our profile, say a profile for stacker beverage machines. That's fine. Once we have created alert profiles, the fastest way to put them into service is to go to administration and alert profiles assignment. So supported alerts let us know what alerts we have and kind of what they do. Profiles allow us to build a group of alerts for a profile and then we will assign that profile to certain equipment types. Now, in order to use this effectively, your vending equipment types in your database should be using these parameters. Beverage, beverage glass front, snack. This does require some vending equipment work if you have not already done it. Uh, to show you what I mean, let's go to Master Files and Vending Equipment Types. Okay, so these types should be assigned to your pieces of a vending equipment, whether it's a beverage, meaning stacker, or a glass front or snack machine. If we choose a piece of vending equipment, say by going to Master Files and Vending Equipment, and we pick any piece of equipment here, the equipment type is where you will find these different categories. So assuming that your equipment types are attached to your pieces of vending equipment, then again, under administration and alert profile assignment, we will assign our profiles to different types of vending equipment. Uh, so let's just say in the beverage category, we wish to use the stacker beverage alerts profile that we created. All we have to do is hit OK and we are all ready to have our alert, our alerts start operating in our beverage stacker machines. Now of course you will duplicate the process of creating a profile and assigning it to uh, uh, an equipment type, snacks and food and coffee etc etc. Uh, but as you set up your profiles and attach them, they're ready to get to work. And they will work company-wide, site-wide, if you will. So, of course, all rules have exceptions, and applying exceptions to your rules is rather easily done. Say, for example, let's say, for example, you've got a particular customer that uh, is more picky than others or has some exception for some reason. We can come in to a customer and we can change values. We can click on something and then assign it a value. And that way we will be able to override the equipment type 
alerts that we set. So you can you can override something. You could just say, oh, for this particular customer, uh, we're not going to include this one, but we're, we will include all the rest. And we have something special here for uh, this particular alert. We're going to, instead of using 25, we're going to go up to 35 because we want this to be more sensitive or less sensitive. Setting exam setting exceptions by customer will flow down inside of that customer to all locations and to all points of sale. Uh, just like commissions or taxes or other things in Venmax, if you make an exception at the customer level, it will flow down. Anywhere below location point of sale, you wish to override that exception, you certainly can. So you can make alerts very sensitive for certain pieces of equipment uh, or very sensitive for certain customers, far less sensitive for other customers, and have something general in the middle. But setting up your profiles and then assigning them to equipment types will get you started. To see your alerts in action, go to the Transactions and Alerts tab. And here you will begin to see it populate with alert information that will then allow you to generate a service call from the alert and send it right out to your tech. You can email that call or if you create a service call and dispatch it through our service tech mobile app, it'll head right out to the technician and they can get it taken care of. Crane Connectivity Solutions is dedicated to superior training and implementation practices. For questions or comments about this video, please contact Marjorie McCahill. And thank you for watching.